Oh my god, Metal Gears! Yep, looks like someone set fire to the cartoon again. Oh, hi, Cowboy Bebop. Entirely wet characters, because nothing says kids show like bathing in the blood of your enemies. Visage captures the rest of this by having the girl being just insistent. The new Doctor's regeneration is really weird. What is this intro? Paint by numbers? Huh, maybe I used the Metal Gear joke too soon. Constant pain. All you need is in my ass after it to describe the show. Here in the far future of 2002, Today. You mean the things you're wearing now and for the rest of the episode are pajamas? You're a cartoon character. You changing clothes is like hell freezing over. Mm. Hey, <laughs> that's not bad. This scene brought to you by the We Have No Idea How to Make a Non-Stereotypical Girl Group. Nice and slow. I'll show them. I'll show them all. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Hi, Dad. Amanda Sochi Payne, haven't I asked you not to disturb me when I'm experimenting? I mean, I thought you'd have learnt last time when I was with the guy, but seriously. <gasps> you're letting me drive? <laughs> yeah, you're a woman. You don't get to drive. Good enough for me. <sighs> Just... The biggest shoehorning of plot award goes to... I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just pushing buttons. Jet powered mini blimp cars. These things can be yours in the future. Move over. Come on, Dad, just no, let me drive no, this one no time. Way. I promise I'll never no, ask again. No, you're not old enough to drive. Notice how these arguments seem to be solved rather quickly. Besides, you're only 13. 13 in 10 months. Uh, That's almost 14. If you're all Wait, she's meant to be 12? Impossible never showed that much skin, and she was legal. If you let me drive myself to school, then you would get back to your research and your- The reason for them taking airships? Never explained, they just do. Well, this month I'm working on a new hybrid rice grain. It grows in sand with no water. It'll feed millions. Uh, Look at those people down there, walking on their legs, like animals! You never know the power of flight! I want to drive every day and there's absolutely nothing about driving that I can't handle. <laughs> it's raining men. Hallelujah, it's raining men. What's going on? I don't know. Yeah, just endanger your 12 year old daughter. That's good parenting. Hey, that's Uncle Shoehorn Wilson. strikes again! As does some poor audio syncing. Why don't we just call the police? They'd never get here in time. Besides, this family takes out its own trash. Leave it on autopilot. I'll be right back. Oh god, I jumped without a parachute. Come on, heroes! Who else wants a taste of the gut crusher? I guess you didn't learn nothing when we threw your pal over. Look out below! Oh god, my spine! Hey. Is there a time when there's been a kid's show where the main character is the 40 year old father? Hey, maybe if we attack them all at once? No, 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 no. Uh, hello? Buildings! Move, please! Yeah, Dad, great autopilot! And there's the possible reason for this pilot never being aired. Oh no, my Doctor Who slash fiction! Ruined! I'm sorry! Gotta get back to Dad! I still have no idea what I'm doing! Oh man, we are really bad at this! Boss. He's that way! That way! Uh-huh. Take that ship and get out of here now! What about you? I've got a family reunion to go to. Really? Because it seems more like you need acting lessons. Hey, should we have locked that door? You know, I was just thinking that. <coughs> I'm not Batman. Great! If this was Super Smash Bros, that'd be really useful. <laughs> Go man, being beaten by a 12 year old. Incompetence, your name is Henchman. Hey! 
Why did she save him just to punch him again? Are you sure that we can just attack him all at once? For the last time, no! <gasps> Quick, kick him in the crotch! Anywhere. Yeah, but you are! Huh? Bye bye! Lucky he didn't get sucked with that jet engine, or else this show might actually get graphic. Three Scrooges, kick! <laughs> I'll run straight at him, it has to work this time! Oh god, he barfed on my hand. Why did I do that? 11, 12, 13 versus 1. It's so hard to find good help. Oh, bravo! Excellently pro- Ah, oh, extreme close-up! My brother died a long time ago. You're dead. When the villain has more charisma than one of the protagonists, you're failing at voice acting. So you brought my niece with you? Amanda? And how did she get my crate? My daughter alone. Oh no, coils of mint fruit roll-ups. The freshness, it's too much. Thanks. You know better than that. I'm a thinker, not a fighter. When are you going to learn that I'm always prepared for every possibility? Yeah, this is the pilot episode. Did you really think you'd catch me? Why do you always do that? Do what? Electrify things? Oh my god, the villain is actually Derek the Bard! Man, this would be way more exciting if my character wasn't a cardboard cutout. At last, my collection of glow-in-the-dark My Little Ponies is complete! <laughs> See ya, sunshine! Later, Uncle Weirdo. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know what I'm doing. I turn the steering wheel and it just goes up. So what help? Now's the perfect time to practice my ballet performance. Leap! Nice. The other girls will be so impressed. Dad! Now Amanda will forever hunt after her uncle to avenge the death of her father. No, wait, that'd actually be an interesting premise. Dad! There's no plausible way that I should have survived that. So how do we explain it? We don't. Oh, 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 I thought you were. I thought you, were like you know, I did hear that explosions don't really cause any damage at all. Just you know, some minor cuts and bruises, no charred flesh or anything. Oh no, I'm totally late for school. Oh, Dad, this is the tenth time. Way to be a bitch to your injured father, Amanda. Calm down. <laughs> hey, Dad. Still no idea the reason for the airships. What happened this time when you drove? Dad, that was Windows not my broken, fault. Windows broken, doors broken. You're so mean. I love you. I love you too, honey. Here's your lunch. See you at 3.30. Apparently the definition of late for something has been changed in the future. You'll never believe what happened to me on the way to school this morning. Your dad saved the world again? Ha! <laughs> yeah, Burn. That too. But more importantly, I got to drive to school. It was so cool! Oh, and then there were these guys who tried to carjack me, but I totally mopped the floor with their faces. Oh, oh, oh. Constant Pain, a show where the actual main character did next to nothing and just yelled out for most of the scenes. You know, even if the show had made it to air, I don't think it would have lasted very long. The dad's dull as a brick, and the daughter doesn't do anything amazing to show that she's a hero. The year after this pilot, however, Kim Possible would appear on the scene, and destroy any chances this show may have had to become fully realised. Also, this still sounds like the intro to Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> 